So I've been streaming this for the past couple of nights. This will be the end of it tonight. Let me make sure my stream. See what's going on here. Oh, YouTube is fine. It's doing the same thing that, you, that Facebook was doing to me the other day. So hopefully it comes back. I haven't had any problems with uh, YouTube streaming yet. But we shall see. It's hard for me to get everything in the camera and my and my face, so add a little bit of uh, white to this. I picked up some more paint markers, some nice colorful paint markers for some more designs around his face. So that should be all I needed, really. I'm just basically I'm going to be tightening him up tonight. Probably go about an hour or so hour and a half at most. Welcome everyone on uh, Periscope, YouTube and Twitch. There I go. Anybody has any questions for me, I can usually, I usually see them on time. If I don't catch your questions, I apologize. So yeah, we're gonna be finishing this guy up. His hands are here. Just gonna add some white to him. Tightening him up. Making him nice and colorful. I didn't know his hands came off until the other night when uh, my client Martin was on here on the, on the stream with me and he told me. I should probably give him send him a message that I'm online. Although he should get me notified by uh, YouTube and Twitch. So hopefully he sees that I'm online tonight. I did tell him last night. I'm a I'm really bad communicator. I think that's why um, I don't get to talk to my friends as often as I'd like to. I think I don't call them enough. Try this off a little bit. But I'm almost done with this. I'm trying to figure out what I'm paint next. At least live on the stream. I'll probably be live again now. Uh, Hmm, who knows? Maybe, maybe Wednesday. I try to go live two to three nights a week is my is my minimum. Uh, the least amount of times I've went live is one time a week, and it's usually weeknights, and it's usually late night because <laughs> that's when my kids go to bed. It's hard being a papa artist, you know. You gotta put the kids to bed, and then I can be creative. Those are nice and dry. Put a few coats of that white on them. So I'm gonna let that dry all the way. Let me make sure my um sound is should say all right so my
making sure real quick. Okay, so let's put a little bit of red around his eyes here. And I'm a paint marker guy. I prefer paint markers to paint brushes. I try to um, use paint brushes as little as possible. I I, I do uh, lots of pieces that are just pure paint brush. But as far as like something like this, where I need like really nice looking lines, I prefer I prefer to. I have a lot more control over a, over a paint marker than a. Um, Than a paintbrush. And that's only because I started using paint markers when I was a teenager for um, to decorate things with graffiti and stuff. So I got used to that control and not brush control. I was always bad at brush. A, a guy gave me a sign to paint, like a, a politician who's running for like school council or something. Um, and uh, my dad had to help me because I was just so bad at brush. I had no control whatsoever. So some things are not everything is for everybody. But practice does does help. You notice I stick my tongue out when I'm doing precise things. I catch myself down now that I'm on camera, though. But if I'm by myself, I'm sticking my tongue out all day. Anybody else have any funny things they like to do when they're trying to concentrate, bite their lip, or... Squeeze their butt cheeks. Got to be real careful that I don't touch with my hands somewhere that's wet. Because then that shit will get everywhere. He's like a little baby in my arms. <laughs> yeah, I prefer this grip of holding like this for sure. I wanted to put a layer of purple around the eyes here. Let's see how that works. Oops, sorry, I had to sit in this bug in there. Just bought these pink markers, they're brand spanking new, so that sound in the background there is my compressor. Kicks on every so often. 
It sounds like I have a leak somewhere too, cause, so it's probably going to be kicking on a lot more. More colors, the better, I, I believe. Especially with uh, Mexican art. Should be nice and colorful. Nice, vibrant colors. What are your guys' favorite colors? I like I like cool bl colors like blues. I'm a big fan of blue, light blue, dark blue, all all the spectrum of blue. I like uh, I like uh, I like purples, but I like purples on the more uh, um on the reddish tip, you know, like plums, plum colors. So I'm into like. Cool blues and like reddish purples. Purple and yellow always look really good together. I'm also a big uh, green fan, like jungle greens. I like jungle greens a lot. Lime greens. Really bright greens, you know. Vibrant. Vibrant stuff, man. Okay. I'm gonna share this over to Facebook in a second. As soon as I finish this, as soon as I finish this side, share it over to Facebook. I don't think I'm gonna do outline this part with the purple. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm just gonna leave it on the. Um, on the outside of the eyes. We'll see though. All right, so let me take a small break. Yeah, and I'm going to just share this over to Twitter and uh, Facebook. All right, so that should be enough for me. Enough promotion. Promotion while I'm on the clock. <laughs> All right, back to the eyes. So on this one, on this side, I kind of went in the same direction like a saw blade. And on this one, I kind of went a little bit random in two different directions. And it didn't really bother me, it, the, the look of it, so I kept it. So this one's more like a sun rays almost. And the other side's more like a saw blade. I think 
I think they match well. Who knows though? Yeah, I'm definitely getting this bad boy finished tonight. Having good paint markers is is really a must if you ever do one of these guys. Unless unless you're really a wizard with the with the paintbrush. Airbrush helps to cover large areas. And then the um The paintbrush or the paint markers for the hard for the hard uh, lines and uh, but yeah, really fun project. Not what I normally do. If you guys watch my channel all the time, I'm more of a of a painter, but I can do a little bit of everything, and, and you know I've I've uh, got some shit for saying stuff like that before because people have uh, said that that's my <laughs> that that's my ego talking. I've, I've like tried to get you know mural work and stuff, and people are like, well, what what kind of style do you do? And I'm like, well, I can do <laughs> do a little bit of everything, you know. And then they're like, oh, what did they tell me? They said i like they said, uh, tell me, answer without your ego this time or something like that. And I'm like, what? If they only knew me, they would know that that's farthest from the truth. But sometimes over social media, it's easy to misconstrue, misconstrue what people, people's meanings, you know? All right, so that purple's around there now, and that's where I'm leaving that. I am going to put some purple here, let's see, just on the top. Hopefully it looks good. That's what I'm hoping for. Just on the top of the teeth right here, just to cover this area. A little bit. My goal with this guy is to have it all look really super clean and, and dialed in just like a toy you'd buy from the store. Sometimes it's hard to compete with them machines though. A little bit of purple there. I may put some red around it. I'm going to do a little bit of airbrushing on those hands now, real quick. Another layer of, uh, of white paint. Just so that there's no 
marks or blemishes on him. Fill this guy up again. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And uh, if you have to work tomorrow, I'm sorry. The kids start school tomorrow. First day of school. I'm excited about that. Got all their new Michael Jordan. I'm just playing. I had Jordans when I started a seventh grade back in ninety some. Probably like nineteen ninety, I think. <laughs> I think I went to seventh grade in nineteen ninety. I had Jordans. They got they got me chicks. And Jordans got me chicks, I'll tell you that. That should be enough white after this. Should have enough layers of this. Same thing with this guy. Blow on him a little bit. Takes a lot of patience, this stuff, you know? Take this red here, and I'm going to do some outlining, some more outlining with this red. Where did I put the cap? Oh, there it is. No, that's not the cap. Oh, the cap just disappeared. All right. So what I want to do with this red is just put an outline around this dark red. I'm hoping I'll be able to do it. Make it look nice. See, there I go with my tongue out. I just caught myself. You know, it's funny because if you do these streams, you got to be yourself, man. Because, like that girl with the dog the other day. That girl with the dog, that girl that was hitting her dog on YouTube was so fake. You know, on the, on the camera, she was so fake. She was a, a completely 
a different person than what she really is. And, you know, that was like a lesson for me, you know, like, just because you're on camera doesn't, don't try to be somebody else. I mean, in her case, she was actually a better person on the camera because the real her was beating the shit out of her dog and stuff. But she was just being way too thick. Check YouTube. After I'm done with this, I'll be posting it, the finished product on uh, Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Luis, L U I S M O. 101 and on Facebook it's the same thing at Louis Small 101 you can follow me on either post a lot of pictures of my new stuff I don't always stream everything I paint some things I paint I paint them off stream and that's just if I paint them off stream it's because one reason and that's deadlines <laughs> and it's because I have to just get it done quick and don't have time to set up the cameras and everything so if I have a deadline and I'm on a crunch it's safe to say that I probably won't be streaming the project but if it's a project that I have plenty of time to work on and everything then uh, I'll uh, For sure, for sure, stream it. And if it's something I want the client to see while I'm working on, too. I like for the clients to see uh, the stuff I'm working on so that they can see. Sometimes I'll make videos for them and stuff so that they can see the progress. And sometimes it'll take me forever to finish a project, and I'll want the clients to see that I am working on their project. And the easiest way for me to do that is a video. And if you notice, I have, this isn't paint. This is yellow tape. I'm going to be adding stitching and stuff to his helmet. So. And I just hit an achievement on Twitch, which is cool because I wasn't planning on streaming art on Twitch. It was strictly my, my gamer platform where I would stream games that I play. I, play a little bit of EverQuest and I play a little bit of Dark Age of Camelot. I used to play them heavily when I was a kid. Well, not a kid. I was in my 20s. <laughs> but uh, when I was a young adult, I played them heavily, but they started consuming too much of my time. And uh, before I knew it, I was 40 years old and I didn't have an art career yet. So <laughs> I needed to get focused on uh, getting painting. It's that addictive personality that comes a lot of times with being an artist that uh, kept me on uh, on those MMOs and not being productive. So I don't regret. I mean, I try not to have regrets in life. That's uh, one thing I may regret a little bit, spending way too much time on MMOs. So if you want to know why I don't play MMOs as much anymore, that's why. Dark Age of Camelot really brings out the competitive stuff because of the PvP. And more if you try to like go out, you know, go about it solo. And that's what I was doing. I was doing a lot of soloing. 
And uh, I started out as a stealth server. I'm not gonna lie. And then I started trying to solo. And uh, you get caught up in the EP ness of it. EP stuff is no good. It's no good. No good. I'll tell you. I mean, it's. I don't, if you're a kid and you're in college or whatever and you don't have shit else to do, EP it up. I don't care. But uh, if you're an adult, you know, over in your 30s or whatever, just give it up, bro. Just give it up. And uh, you'll have more fun. And the younger guys will trash talk you for being a bum of a player, but at least you have fun while you play. Where the heck did that cat fall out? This is the fun part of art, is when you lose something and you have to like tear apart your your studio for it. And it's something really crucial, like a calf. So I can't like minutes. If I even leave this cat this thing uncapped for minutes, it'll it'll dry up, and it's a valuable valuable. Peace. Paint marker cost me a lot of money, but it looks as if this thing's gone. I mean, it literally disappeared in my hand. It's bright red too, so it should just show up. I should just see it. Boom. nowhere there it is found it hardest spot I could find too Didn't want that marker to dry up. That would piss me off. So it's Sunday night. It's slow. But we're going to finish this. The few of us that are here, we're going to finish this thing together. Let me see what color is in here. New day, new stream achievement. I'm kind of like that, that Twitch gives achievements. Okay, so I'm going to clean this airbrush just a little bit. God, there's like a serious leak going on somewhere. I don't always clean my airbrushes right away. And, uh, sometimes I pay the price for that. I'll let a day or two go by. And I'll be full of paint and stuff. Yesterday, I just, I've been super busy lately. I'm a grinder, guys. I do a lot of work. Trying to make up for all the lost years. I, uh, <laughs> I 
when I was playing Dark Age and EverQuest and shit. I heard Project 99 was opening a new, um, a new server in August. Me and my cousin were supposed to go play it. Maybe I'll go load that up tonight. <laughs> My dark age friends hear me say that, they're gonna be pissed. I play dark age on the Phoenix server. I have fifties uh, on all three, all three realms, Hibernia, Midgard, and Albion. If you guys don't know what the Phoenix server is, go check it out. If you're into video games, if you're into old school video games. I always get acetone on me. I never get water on me, but I always get acetone on me. It freaks me out because I think it's going to kill me or something when it, when it lands on me. Such a strong smelling chemical, you know? Okay. So I think this is clean. I think this is clean enough now. YouTube how long I've been streaming 36 so yeah I'm gonna go for about an hour and a half tonight and then um, if I'm not done in an hour and a half the rest I'll finish off screen and I'll post it on uh, Instagram so you'll have to if you want to see this thing at its final final completed stage with the tans on I'm not putting a tans on tonight either because the hands scrape off the sides I'm waiting till the clear coat goes on to put the hands on. So if you want to see this thing with its arms on and its final, final completed state, check out my Instagram at LuisMO101. And uh, there you can see my completed Luchador El Fuego and his sidekick Flamas. And they will have, they will be clear coated and they'll be done. They'll be completed all the way clean. So come check it out and uh, drop a like or two, follow me, subscribe to me on Twitch or YouTube, and uh, let's hang out, let's be, let's be buds, let's be friends. You can come talk to me anytime you guys want, you guys talk to me about any subject you want, um, if you talk to me about politics. We can do that too. Talk to me about whatever you want. I can talk about most subjects. Watch a lot of Joe Rogan. I'm up on things. Anybody else watch Joe Rogan? Am I the only Joe Rogan fan? I know I'm not. He has like 6 million subscribers, so. Talk about Elon Musk smoking some weed. Talk about anything. Okay. Thinking. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll leave it up as is. Okay. So we're good there. I'm gonna dump oh we're gonna go a little bit spot right here. A little smidgen. So yeah, I'm just cleaning this stuff up. Get them over to Martine as clean as possibly can be. 
nice clean character with no not too many defects as little defects as possible you know so that's what I'm trying to do That there. I'm gonna dump out this color now. Oh, it's a lot. I, I have a. I know I have a maroon. Here it is. in here now. Just pure black. A little bit of shading on it. So this little guy took a long time. I'm not mad at him though. Fun project, like I said. A little pure black in here. I'm going to do a little bit of shading. Just kind of freehand it. Nothing too crazy. And um, so now this is where this stripes and stuff come in. I'm just gonna just shade that a little bit with this pinstriping tape that I put down. I'm also gonna paint the ears. I'm gonna take this tape off first and just do the job that I was doing with it. Little bit of shading, that's all. all right, I'm gonna paint the ears now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just put that stuff down real quick. Dry it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna take this tape off. To work the ears. I'm going to hit the bottom of those beats real quick with this black. Run out. Yeah, put this 
down real quick. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm me, I'm doing really good. About to finish this guy. Get paid. See me being close to completion on this means money. And that's it. So I'm uh, happy about that. Money, 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 money. But no, I don't do this just for the money. You guys know that. It's if I did this stuff just for the money, this guy wouldn't be half as cool looking. He'd be some dumbass. Be some dumbass uh, mass-produced piece of garbage like everything else, you know. Like everything else is mass-produced nowadays, you know. Not saying that there ain't stuff that's mass-produced that ain't totally cool, but most of it is garbage. So I'm going to take this tape off now. That gave me the desired effect. So you'll see that it just kind of made like a little line. And uh, that's going to be where I put the stitching later on. That'll come at the final stage. And uh, stitching is just going to make it a little bit, a little bit realer, I guess be the word. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to paint the ears now. And then grab a shield. Shout out to Martin for the dope idea for the ears. Because I don't want any skin tone on this guy. I on my sketch on my original sketch I had skin tone on him. And I wasn't feeling that, so.
my favorite scene on um, any movie with regards to art is where the uh, old man, I think it's Toy Story 2, shows up to fix Woody. Woody's like in bad condition. And the old man shows up and he has this little case and he's got his airbrush in it. And uh, he starts fixing Woody. And then somebody, this one, the kid says something to him, like, when's it going to be done or something? And he's like, you can't rush art. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful scene. The old man just taking his time with the airbrush, making sure everything just comes out sweet. And that's kind of like this, can't rush art, you know? shading with this black.
Alright, let me dry those off a little bit and also uh, do the same thing with these. Actually, let's take this tape off first. So you see that? a little bit before, before I put them down. Looks like I'm going to be able to finish um, tonight for all of you guys. I'm uh, ahead of schedule. so Just by a few minutes, follow up five minutes, I, think I feel like I'm ahead of schedule. It's everything I wanted to do. But we'll see because there's some tricky stuff i got to do right now.
Well, that's that one. Blow dry this one now. Those of you who were with me, um, I believe it was Thursday night when I started this. This project has taken about five hours in total, I think, which is not too bad. Airbrush makes things a lot faster. If I was doing this all by hand, it'd be a lot slower. Okay, so that's done there. All right. Okay, what else do we gotta do with this? I'm still gonna keep this black loaded in here, just in case we need it. And I'm gonna do everything else by hand. I'm here still so only. Finish up, so let me um actually this blacks out. I need a little bit of acetone in here. Get into that. Little bit of acetone. We're almost done, guys. Getting close. Getting very, very close. All right, here we go. Putting the brush away for just a second. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little bit, of, a little bit of white down there. Let me hit that. Bought a new needle. Come on. I think I bent it. Yeah. 
and the lines look okay. It does look bad though. Another hit with the blow dryer. A bald head is in the way of the work. <laughs> My head looks like his head. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. So, some more paint marker work. I'm going to write his name right here on his ears. And you try to write it this way. Yeah. You see that I wrote his name? Fuego. El Fuego. Ooh. Got a little bit of wet spot right here. Didn't dry it well enough. Maybe I was just too excited to write a fuego right now. Okay. We'll leave that white. Okay. So, got that going. All right, some more white. Okay, so this is the tricky part right here. Let me then do the teeth first, and then we'll get to that trickiness. Thinking about putting another tooth here just for shits and giggles. Let's see. Let's see how it looks right now. And what we're doing here is just making the teeth look a little cleaner. Courtesy of this white paint mark. And uh, let's see. Didn't realize I was pressing that hard. And 
Dip drive. Mistakes are happening. Mistakes happen. They've never. I've never had a mistake this bad happen on my stream. <laughs> Ooh we. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. I guess I was pushing harder than I realized. But Bob Ross says there's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. That was an accident, but it definitely wasn't happy. So I'm just kind of just adding one more back tooth there. Right, hopefully that looks okay. I'm going to get this black one to go around it. I'm just glad that I am. Um, I was gonna say saved my work, but I didn't did say my work. I'm just glad that I uh, that I didn't mess anything up seriously. So lesson learned: don't push so hard on the, on the paint markers. Anybody who's watching it can uh, see the lesson and learn from me. And learn from my mistakes. Don't that way you don't have to make your own mistakes. So it's a win-win. That's the whole point of uh, Greek mythology, right? To hear about other people's mistakes so you don't have to make your own. Well, the same, th same thing goes for my stream. You can watch my stream, see the mistakes I make, and then you won't have to make your own. You can say, damn, what a loser that guy. Good thing I don't make those mistakes. Because you saw me make it. What a total freaking lame. Just going to put a little stitch on. Stitching, stitching, stitching. Okay, that looks like contaminated the entire piece with the white that's on my hands. Jesus, I didn't even have any white on my hands. Okay, we 
are going to move forward. A little bit of black here. I got little specks of white everywhere somehow while I was doing the stitching. It's always when you're getting close to finishing the piece that little little action is like that stuff happening. But it's not the end of the world. to put the feet on this guy and the little bones and stuff. Hey Martin. Nice to see you here. Appreciate you being here. Um all right, so I went up to go to Facebook real quick. And I'm going here. I'm going to look at my messages. And I'm going to get, grab the picture that I sent to Martin of the feet, I mean of this guy. So uh, I'm going to use this guy. A bone structure here. All right, so it's gonna not gonna be exactly like this because the put a bone here. This anatomy is not gonna be perfect because it's a cartoon. <laughs> But I will try to make it look cool. Okay, so then here. And this paint marker really gave me a scare right now gripping like that. So I know now not to push it so hard. It's funny is when you want that much paint, they don't give you that much paint. Hopefully these trans, these, uh, Hands translate, these bones translate as well on um, on here as they do on the, uh, they did on the sketch. Problem with the sketch is it's one dimensional, so I'm going to make up the other three dimensions. Bones, them bones, them bones, gonna. Yeah, on Photoshop, I'm able to 
do whatever I want to these guys because it's kind of flat and you know, kind of flattens them out. So hopefully this looks okay. And if it doesn't, we'll make it up. So there's a little bone hand here. And hmm, let's see how we can do this. Let me see, let me see. Where's the bones? That'll look cool from the front, but the problem is the side. So I'm going to have to make some, make some more of these guys up. see what I'm doing here it's kind of just making some more up some more bones and uh, just get as close to as I can to real bone anatomy which is probably pretty far off <laughs> but as long as they read like bones it's what it matters That's what's looking like there. I'm going to outline for sure. These will be bigger paws here. These will be bigger bones. So we're moving. We're moving and grooving. So what I'm doing here is, is, is I sent him two sample sketches and um, we liked a couple of the things from both of them and I agreed to, I was pretty much the same. So I kind of just meshed them up and uh, yeah, it worked out. I'm, I'm liking it. So. I'm gonna do one last one. It's not gonna go exactly go all the way around, but it'll be pretty close. The anatomy of these hands is quite different of real anatomy, we know that. It's like the bone too, but the bone in front is kind of cool, it works. I mean, that's what the way it would be if you had a a tuxedo on or whatever that had that uh that stuff you know this big bone stuff so it's kind of like his suit you know his suit has this this bone stuff on it all right so i'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then do his other hand and uh, I'm gonna outline them right now outline these they'll look a lot chunkier them bones and bones gonna walk all over them bones and bones gonna I like to sing as I paint. Forgive me if you hate my singing. <laughs> I, I much prefer listening to some music, hanging out with, uh, with Juan and listening to some Mariah Carey as I paint. Man, there was a while, I w that's all I was listening to. Mariah Carey, Sade, you know, just real smooth music while I paint, it's uh, soothing. women with really nice voices. There's nothing better than that when you're painting, you know? It's just a, it's calming. Sad Day's my favorite though.
Your love is king. Crown you with my heart. Your love is king. Crown you with my heart. Your kiss is warm. Round and round inside of you. Touching you when you feel alone. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to get done tonight. Um, anything I miss tonight, though, I will be getting tomorrow off camera and hopefully have this to Martine by no later than Wednesday. I got it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give it last looks and uh, clear coating. So and that's just a final cleanup and a clear coat and just a little bit of white paint. Get everywhere. Oh, I see what happened. Touch this back here. Touch this bone. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm like, where's these little white paints from? And I touched this bone back here. I'm not used to working in the 3D. I work 2D. I'm a 2D guy. That was one of the biggest issues I had um, doing uh, 3D animation work. I did work 2D my whole life. Trying to get used to doing stuff in 3D was a pain in the butt. Some Sade would really help right now. All right. Um, I'm not sure with Lamas. I'm gonna take a look at him tomorrow for sure, and just I, like if, see if any ideas come to my head. Right now, I'm, I'm every time I want to do something to him, I look at him and I like I like what's going on with him. Um, so I don't really want to mess that up, but I'm, it's not a hundred percent sure that it's not done. You know, I'm, I may, uh, change my mind. I've been known to change my mind. So. We'll see. I, I kind of like his look and I, and I kind of feel like when he gets clear coated, it's going to even pop even more. Because my idea for him was just just a little ball of flame. That's it, you know. Just to. So we'll see. Be cool if I could add some like little. Fabricate some little fire. That. Hang out with him. Dry these a little bit more. 
I'm going to let them dry all the way before I put the outline on them. This, this uh, thing dries them okay for, for now, but it, there's nothing like drying them overnight. That's why I like to work with gloves so I don't get uh, paint on my hands. I gotta order some new gloves, but I got a lect I got a lecture today about ordering too much stuff from from the boss. But I really do need some gloves. So we'll let that sit for now. I'm going to dump out this black and add red again. And I'm going to... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm... <laughs> yeah, I have some candy colors. I well, at least I don't have really bright ones right now. I gotta reorder the bright ones, but I had some candy colors. I should have put some candy on them. I, it's not too late, really. But I don't want them too exaggerated either. <laughs> I'm gonna brighten up the yellows though, for sure. Oops. Brighten up these yellows now. Put some little bones. What do my feet bones look like? Put some little feet bone. Uh, you know what? No feet bones. No feet bones because they're not gonna look. Let me let me try them. Let me try. Them. See what they look like. I don't want to be a sissy.
they don't look good, you just take them off, you know. But I gotta at least I gotta at least try it. Some little feet balls here. Yeah, they look okay. They may not read like feet bones is the only thing I'm concerned about. As long as they read, that's all I care about. Two, three, four. So there's some little feet bones. She's got no big toe. Big toe is this one. I'll put this big, make this one a little bigger than the others. I guess that's not too bad. Oh yeah, I have a I have a brown that's exactly what I have is one of those. You were getting an error on Twitch? You know, I'm not getting any chat on Twitch. I'm wondering if that's what it was. Because I'm not seeing anybody on chat and Twitch. So if anybody was trying to talk to me tonight on Twitch, um, I apologize. Yeah, I hate that. Sorry. Just gonna go around this with the purple real quick. Wish it would stay that color purple, but it dries and it just gets a little darker. It's so nice when it's getting put on. It's like super bright, yeah, and I'm touching it again. I gotta be real careful. I mean, this is when it gets really hairy because you're at a point where if you do make any, too many mistakes, you mess it up. And I keep touching paint. <laughs> I think that's where I'm leaving it tonight, and I'm going to stare at it, and stare at it, and stare at it, and see. Oh, let me let me uh, brighten up the flames a little bit before I, before I log out. That is something I wanted to do tonight before I log out. Oh, I didn't know you like purple. I just like I like purple. I thought it would look cool with the with the yellow. Put some uh, some more colors into it. Some more, you know. The nicest, brightest colors I could find, you know. Purple and yellow go perfect together. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, brighten up these flames and then. After I brighten up these flames, I'll call it a night, and then tomorrow, off camera, I'll be um, just uh, finalizing it, finalizing him and Flamas, and 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 you know, um, just make it dialing everything in, and then I'll post it on Instagram. I'll post uh, post it up on Instagram, and that'll be the verdict right there. People were liking it, so you know, even when I posted the work in progress. So 
I think it's going to come out pretty cool. I think it was pretty successful. But I do want to brighten up the flames a little bit. They they cut they kind of um darken a little bit as the paint sucks into the vinyl. When it dries, kind of goes into the pores and Yeah. No, I just got it just got a little darker. That's all. It happens. It's not mud though, it's just it's just uh it's just a little bit of darkness. What the heck am I? Thanks, Sam. Yeah, I like the purple too. I was like, purple is definitely going on this this guy. I was going to put one of them little uh, flaming hearts on them, but I decided against it. Sometimes, sometimes less is more. As much as I like to throw everything but the kitchen sink on projects, sometimes less is more. Just brightening the flames a little bit. Yeah, like here, I totally covered them. That's, that's covering. Because it had a lot more flames, but I think I just kept covering it. And... Flames are fun, though. Now that that I have most of the face done, it's easier to come in and make some cool designs and stuff. Okay. Do that maybe here. Like here, I can put some. Up. I was gonna um, do the actual chimney thing though, but yeah, I'm not gonna. I'll put the heart flame. It'll be a little Easter egg on him, you know.
It'll be a little Easter egg that you gotta kind of hunt to see. So if anybody ever turns them around, they'll see. I'll sign my name in there too, in the heart. But very subtly. See how he's already brighter. Just a little bit more flames. Called the fire department. <laughs> it's fun to say some cheesy stuff, you know. Call the fire department. This guy's on fire. this fire in this fire <laughs> in this yellow to add some highlights to the flames and uh, yeah that'll be that'll be the end my friend till tomorrow when I post the, the final product I'm going to sign my name in the heart. So, when you look for my signature, that's where it'll be. That'll be part of the Easter egg. Alright. Alright, that's where we're leaving him tonight. I think it's a... Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can show the camera. I can't put the hands on though because uh, I need to um, clear coat this guy, make sure that he's not going to scrape. Before I put the hands on again, that's where we're at. Almost another two hours tonight. But, um, yeah, tomorrow, be dialing them in. It'll probably take about another hour to dial them in. And um, he'll be done. Back to the head. Little secret secret fire heart back there. Cute, cute little guy, man. Flamas. I should actually... I don't want to mess Flamas up. <laughs> I kind of... Kind of like what he's what's going on. I like the little thing in the front. This little uh, this little thing in the front. I could I might put a little secret. You know what? I'll put a little secret. Um, uh, I'll put a little heart here in the, in his, his center too. Since uh, just 
little heart. So, I do like this little heart thing. Let me put a little bit of fire around that heart. So Flamas has uh, got a little heart right here now. <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of cool. Put a little bit of a highlight there. Maybe. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to look for it on Instagram tomorrow at LuisMO101, and uh, I'll be posting the finished product. I'll have it all dialed in tomorrow, and um, and clear and clear coded. Signing it back here. Put a little fire around this signature. That's it. That's all, folks. See you later. Tomorrow um, afternoon, look for the look for the uh, final product. Thanks, guys. Have a good week. Have a happy Monday tomorrow, and uh, don't work too hard. Don't fall asleep on your desks from watching my stream too late at night. <laughs> See you guys. Peace out.